Tired of staring at a blank page while your deadline gets closer? In the next five minutes, I'll show you the best AI tool for research paper writing and how to use it effectively for your research. I'll quickly walk you through how to turn rough notes into a clear outline, a smart way to get AI-generated draft paragraphs, and one simple trick to make your citations and references almost automatic. And if you stick to the end, I'll reveal the one feature that makes this AI better than all the others for serious academic work. The same reason my drafts go from messy to submission ready in a single evening. This is Parvez Durrani and you are watching Guru Tech Solutions. Let's begin by clicking the link provided in the description, which will take us directly to the official site of this AI tool. Right away, you'll notice the interface is exceptionally user-friendly, designed to make your research workflow as smooth as possible. This tool is remarkably versatile and can be used for a wide range of academic purposes. As a research expert, I can attest to the importance of tools that streamline the often time-consuming process of academic research. This AI platform, Answer This AI, is specifically built to help you write literature reviews, search for academic papers, generate research questions, and much more, all in one place. Today, I'll walk you through how to generate a comprehensive literature review using this tool. If you're not confident in crafting effective prompts, don't worry, Answer This AI includes a helpful feature called the Prompt Helper. Simply click on it and you'll be guided to select the purpose for which you're using the tool. Whether you want to generate a literature review, perform quantitative analysis, or suggest research questions, there are predefined prompts to help you get started. Since my focus is on generating a literature review, I'll select that option. Next, you'll be prompted to enter your research area. For this demonstration, I'll choose Machine Learning in Health. Once you input your topic and hit enter, the tool will automatically generate a well-crafted prompt for you. From here, you can choose the type of review you want. I'll select Full Review to ensure we get a comprehensive overview of the topic. You can also specify whether you want your sources to be strictly academic papers or include other sources from the internet. For this example, I'll stick with academic papers. The tool then allows you to fine-tune your search with several filters. For instance, you can set the number of main sections and subsections in your literature review. I'll opt for four main sections and three subsections per section. There's also an option to specify particular topics to be covered, though this is entirely optional. Another valuable feature is the ability to set the minimum number of citations you want in your review, anywhere from 0 to 20. I'll choose 10 citations for a well-rounded review. You can also select the journal quality, ranging from Q1 to Q4, depending on your requirements. Additionally, you can filter by publication type, such as journal articles, conference papers, books, and chapters. For a thorough review, I'll include all these types. You can even specify the publication date range. I'll set mine from 2010 to 2025 to capture the most relevant and recent research. Once you've set your preferences, simply hit Submit Search. Answer This AI will then begin generating your comprehensive literature review. You'll be able to watch as it searches various sources and compiles the results. When the process is complete, you'll see a detailed literature review on machine learning in healthcare. The review is thorough and includes a range of academic papers, each properly cited. At the end of the review, you'll find a complete list of references. You can even change the citation style, APA, Chicago, and more according to your needs, and see the changes reflected instantly. On the right side of the interface, you'll see the cited academic papers. In this example, we have 10 different sources included in our review. You can use the filters to explore any specific paper in more detail. By clicking on any citation, you'll access a comprehensive table with source information, abstracts, and more. This makes it incredibly easy to review and access the full details of each cited study. The table also allows you to add custom columns. For example, if you want to track key findings, simply add a key findings column and the tool will populate it for each paper. 
This flexibility lets you tailor the information to your specific research needs. You can also export the data in various formats, such as CSV, for further analysis. If you highlight any specific text, you can add it to your notebook for future reference, a handy feature for organizing your research notes. For those who want to dive deeper into the cited studies, you can select any or all of the academic papers and use the 8 Steps feature. This enables you to create new tables, perform bibliometric analysis, generate citation maps, and much more. For instance, after selecting all the cited papers, you can run a bibliometric analysis to visualize publication trends by year, citation counts, and combined publication citation data. This level of insight is invaluable for understanding the landscape of your research area. You can also generate citation maps for any academic paper by entering its DOI number. Set it as the origin, and the tool will display all citation connections, helping you explore the network of related research. Additionally, you can chat with the AI about any particular paper to gain deeper insights. In summary, Answer This AI empowers you to generate comprehensive literature reviews and accelerates your research workflow. Its advanced features allow you to dig deeper into cited studies, analyze trends, and organize your findings with ease. As a research professional, I highly recommend this tool for anyone looking to streamline their academic research process. Give it a try using the link in the description, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more research-related content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.